Well, hey, hey there, folks. It's Jimmy Stewart here, hoping this is finding you all doing well. In this video, folks, as you can tell, and if you've been on the channel for a while, you'll know exactly what this means. When we got an empty guitar stand here, folks, yes, it's April 2024, and it is New Guitar Day. Yes, it's New Guitar Day, folks right here on the channel. And we got something a little special here today because um, if you have not been on the channel and you have not seen some of the reviews I've done here, I invite you to please check them out. About a year and a half ago, November of 2022, I picked this bad boy up right here. Now this is the Firefly version of the HS Mad Cat. This is their copy or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and this guitar, you know, uh, is probably one of the nicest and one of the best drops Firefly has ever done, at least in my opinion. It is a wonderful guitar. It came in absolutely perfect, and it was a really, really uh, big seller for Firefly guitars. Now, this guitar, like I said, came out the first drop was around November of 2022, and I picked one up, and uh, folks, they couldn't keep it in stock. It was selling out every time to bring it up. Now, I've only brought it up a few times recently since then. Here we are in April of 2024, and guess what? They have a new drop of the Fireflies. And the good folks of Firefly Guitars decided to send me one so I could do like a little bit of a comparison as to how the new version kind of compares to the very first batch version, what has changed and what's remained the same. So let's run to the B-roll and check out the new Guitar Day here on the channel. So happy April there, folks, and it is April 5th, and guess what? New Guitar Day here in the studio. We got our good friend David. David Leatherman is going to be doing his job here today. And here we go. What did the good folks at... Firefly guitars send me this time. As you can see, we got the nice coffin case that Firefly has been doing for a while now. I appreciate the new the new packaging. Odin hasn't appreciated it though, as he doesn't get to jump inside a box. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Now, this might look familiar to you folks that have been here on the channel before. But it's New Guitar Day, and it actually, it is different. And that's what we're going to get into today. So let's get to it. New Guitar Day here on the channel. Happy April, everyone. What have we got, Mr. Odin? Is it New Guitar Day? Is it? It is. It's New Guitar Day. You like it? Looks like you, doesn't it? What we got, baby? What we got? Is it New Guitar Day? You can't go in there. Well, maybe you can go in there. You checking it out? I can't believe you're going into that box. I can't believe you're doing it. And there he goes. Mr. Odin, what are you doing in there? You're so silly. You're so silly. And there he goes, folks. I take back what I said, that he couldn't get in that box. What are you doing, baby? 
he is. Oh, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I was amazed that uh, Odin decided to check, check out that box, the coffin box. I didn't believe he'd be able to even get in there, but he did because he's Odin. So anyway, there's a little bonus for you. But of course, today we're talking about this guy right here. Yes. And it's the new version of the FF BCTY, I think is what they always call this, the BCTY. This is the Mad Cat. Again, uh, Firefly's take on the H.S. Anderson Mad Cat guitar made famous by his purpleness, Prince. Now, I again will direct you back to my original review back in November of 22 of that particular version of it right there. That was the first batch. That was the first time they did them. I think this is around the third batch now. And uh, as you can see, folks, it is the same, but it's slightly different. Now, let's take a look. You can see in the camera there, hopefully, uh, what has changed a little bit. It is a 21 fret tele style. The difference on these two, however, is now they've gone with the stainless steel in ball end frets on the new version, which makes it very, very nice. Not that this one wasn't nice because it plays great, but the upgraded stainless frets in ball ends on this particular model. And I believe they have changed the pickups slightly. This had a set of ceramics. Again, they're Strat style pickups instead of Tele style pickups. And this one has a set of El Nico uh, 5 Strat pickups with the staggered poles, as you can see on here. And it is a little bit more oranges or transparent yellow is the actual color, but kind of oranges a little bit more in the body, of course, in the stain on the neck and on the headstock. So that's kind of the difference between both of them. Uh, they both are just absolutely drop dead gorgeous guitars. There are string throughs, as you can see. And of course, we'll do an up close and personal on the new version like we did on the first version. And of course, we'll do a couple of tone checks on it just to see if we can tell any difference between the different style pickups that are on here. Although they're the same pickup, they're Strat style pickups. I believe this to be ceramic and I believe these to be staggered pole El Nico 5s. Uh, and of course, the major other major difference is the stainless steel ball and frets on the updated version. Now you can find these on guitarsgarden.com. Check them out on guitarsgarden.com. And the price, folks, has not gone up a cent since I originally picked this one up in November of 2022. There's still $199 and some change and a $27 shipping charge. So you're looking at $226 and some change to have it sent to your home and the lower 48 states. Remember, it's the lower 48 states. Sorry to all those folks in Canada and all our fans overseas and across the pond. We are not, they are not shipping uh, currently Firefly guitars to any other locations. So, but if you're interested in a Mad Cat, and again, guys, these sell out almost instantaneously every time they're released. So get yours while you can, because I know a lot of folks have been looking for these and we have gone to, and I know I have gone to Firefly and say, look, you need to put out some more Mad Cats. Let's get them while you can. This one came in set up almost identical to this. In fact, it's set up even lower action, almost too low. And I know folks are gonna say, Jimmy, you can't get a guitar that's too low. But I like a little meat underneath. Uh, this one's almost too low. In fact, let me, let me check it here why I've got it out. And let's see what the action is right out of the box, folks. Again, I just took this out of the box. Wow, so we're looking at between one and one, two, five on the low E in between one and one, two, five on the high E. A little lower than I actually like to play. Um, it's almost buzzing down here a little bit. Again, a little tweak of the truss rod to take care of that, uh, but it's set up really, really low. And I believe I believe this has nines on it instead of tens on the original. I, I could be wrong, but it feels like nines to me. A 
bone knot, Canadian maple neck, maple fretboard, again, varnished on the top and on the back. Uh, a nice set of tuners. They are not locking tuners. Uh, you can see the really cool, almost camo leopard type of uh, pick guard and bridge guard on here. You got your standard volume and tone and a three-way switch. This has got six saddles and it is a string through. Flame maple on both the back and front. Just gorgeous. And again, the tint on this is a little darker than it is on the original batch here. Just a little darker, uh, more orangey, yellow transparent orange. Um, guess it depends on which one you prefer. Um, they both look great to me. Obviously, I prefer the stainless frets that are on the new one. And uh, we'll see about the pickups. Now, let's do the up close and personal. I'll do some measurements to see how it measures with the older one. And uh, I imagine it's going to be close to being the same. Uh, all guitars vary a little bit, especially in weight. Uh, so let's check it out and see. Let's go do the up close and personal, and then we'll do some tone checks. Okay, folks. So here we are with the up close and personal on the new version. Firefly Mad Cat Telly. Now, as you may or may not know, this is a copy of the H.S. Anderson, the famous Prince Tele guitar from H.S. Anderson. And you can see it is a beauty. This is a flamed maple top with a roasted maple neck. And, of course, your almost camo type uh, pickguard material. A standard telly in that it is a body telly, but again, on this, you've got a pair of Stratocaster style pickups. And this is one of the differences between this one and the old version, the first batch version that I have. As you can see on this, these are supposed to be uh, El Nico 5, and you can see they're staggered pole Strat style pickups. Again, standard three way switch volume and tone. Some nice flaming on this. It's subtle and you get some areas where it's really cool like right in here. Again you get your double binding. Again one of the differences between this batch and the first batch from last year is the this has got the stainless steel ball end frets. It's a 25-5 scale. Again it's a maple neck on a maple fretboard, bone nut, and your Firefly headstock, double string trees. This particular one has the truss rod adjustment up here like a normal standard telly would have. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. You can see the skunk stripe on the back. You can see that this was manufactured in 12 of 23. Just now hitting the shores here. And 24. Some nice flaming on the back of this as well. Look, the net pocket is perfect. The binding is gorgeous. Again, both front and back on the binding. Of course, you're straight down the center. This is a string through. This one is slightly heavier than the first version. Again, that's this consistency in wood. This one right around the eight pound mark, why the first batch is just over seven pounds, about 7.4. And the color is slightly different. As you can see on this one, the side edges are a little darker. And the guitar itself is a bit more orange in color than the first, along with the fretboard. Just a little darker stain, I'd say. Gorgeous. And a six saddle bridge down there. The new version of the Firefly Mad Cat, again a copy.
copy of the H.S. Anderson Prince Telly that was made famous by his purpleness from the good folks at Firefly Guitars. All right, so as always, folks, I'm going to do a little tone check using the Model Price 15 valve amp here with my Celestion V30 cabinet. We'll try to keep it as clean as we can to start. Uh, a little bit of reverb just to give it some ambience in the room. And I am going to start in the bridge position here. Wow. That's in the bridge. That sounds incredible. That's in the middle. That sounds great too. got nines on it that they, they, they feel like nines to me Wow fretboard feels wonderful again I measured both fretboards and I'll show you right up here I'm thinking it tends more to a 14 the Asian radius although a 12 looks really really close it could be but I'm thinking again my brain is telling me it's probably the Asian radius with the 14 radius, but it feels very, very good, both guitars. Let's go up to the neck. sound like a telly and it doesn't quite sound like a strat it's kind of a mix between them which gives it a unique sound in my opinion i think it's really really cool <laughs>
Nice, articulate, sharp. I think it's got a little bit more bite than the first one. Uh, it's hard to tell. Let me uh, let me just bring the first one in real quick and see if we can actually tell the difference. Now, I didn't have the pickups up all the way. I had them on about three quarters. Not quite sure if this one's even tuned. Let's see. So this is in the bridge. Now that one is definitely set up lower. It sounds similar. I'm thinking it has a bit more bite, but I'm not exactly positive. tell. I think it has a bit more bite. Um, I think the strings have a lot to do with that too. I think these are nines and those are tens. But as comparison, uh, both guitars, very, very cool. The price has not gone up a cent since 2022, where you got uh, regular frets and regular ceramic pickups. Now you've got, I believe, El Nico 5 staggered pole pickups and stainless steel ball and frets. Again, the color is a little bit different, a little darker on this one, but the body and everything else is pretty much the same. Nothing else has changed. Uh, folks, if you're interested in grabbing the Mad Cat and you got a chance to do it, I would say do it now if you can, okay? Why they're still in stock. They will sell out and they sell out quickly. So my little service announcement here is that they're in and if you want one, you better grab one, okay? Price hasn't changed at all. So that's pretty cool. Again, you can get them at www.guitarsgarden.com. That's guitars with an S, garden.com. Check them out if you are interested. My thanks to George, all the folks at Firebird Music and Firefly Guitars for sending this to the studio, allowing me to do a check between the first batch and the third. Look at some of the upgrades that they've done and uh, get a chance to show you guys how cool this guitar is. And it is cool. Let's put a little grunt on it.
All right. The Firefly FFBCTY Mad Cat Telly from the good folks at Firebird Music and Firefly Guitars. I'm going to wrap it up for today, folks. Thank you so very, very much for stopping into the channel. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, hey, folks. That's right. Come on over to the good side. We'd love to have you on board. Until next time, folks, it's Jimmy Stewart saying so long. Take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Be kind to each other. And we'll talk to you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll play you out with a little something. Talk to you soon, folks. Mm -hmm.